Thank you. Just on that um, growth of Saudi football, can you see the Saudi league, the pro league with the investment, can you see it going on to be one of the biggest and best leagues in world football? Neil Paul. Uh, both, either. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's exciting times. Um, you've got world-class players here um, from all around the world. Um, you know, um, it's only going to grow. Um, I've only um, I've been starting watching it this year, and I've heard uh, many great things that it's going to come to this country with football. Um, so yeah, it's exciting times for Saudi, um, and you know, for ourselves, we get to it's an honour because we get to play against these players and uh, really test ourselves. And it's one thing that I'm really looking forward to myself. Um, but yeah, I think it's got aspirations to um, go further and get better. In the middle, second row. Rowan Hamdan from Saudi Press Agency. Uh, you said you will be humble, but does uh, Karim Benzema is the player who won uh, the the championship last year with the Real Madrid, and now I guess he's want to take the champion again with it had is the first time so what your defense will do to make this not happen and <laughs> go forward I, I think they'll try their best um, the good thing about Benzema that we didn't have to watch footages of, of him because uh, they all know how he plays so um, they'll try their best my defenders are very excited not just them but the whole squad the ones that are going to start the game the ones on the bench the whole people working behind the scenes for Auckland City, we all excited to be part of this tournament, to play against these players. Um, and we're going to try our best. We'll work until the end of the game. Uh, we know the quality of those players, uh, everyone does. And I think the pressure that they have, not just to beat us, obviously, to do it comfortably and, uh, and probably winning or having chances to be in the final of the Club World Cup. That's the pressure I think they have with the quality they have. So I wouldn't you know, like to be in the issues, to be fair, in that regard. So uh, we're happy to be the underdogs and try to make it very hard for them. And uh, we've seen many times in the history of football that upsets happen. So why not tomorrow? You know, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll try our best. OK. OK. We'll take the last question, and then we conclude the press conference. Uh, since you're here in Jeddah and in Saudi in general, general would you like to go tourism and see what Saudi have? We has a lot. Did you hear about it? The Saudi tourism, I mean, the player and the coach. Yeah, we've, um, we've been very busy. Um, one of the main things that we see is the trip when we're going to from the bus to the training ground. I uh, know that path very well. But um, we, we actually, the other day, we went out and on a tour, very beautiful. I think we went to the old uh, town, I think it's called. It was, it was fantastic, UNESCO site. I really loved it. I would have loved to spend more time there. The guide woman was fascinating and uh, the whole place was beautiful. Um, very old buildings, which we don't have really in New Zealand. We have all the things that are fantastic, landscapes, whatever you want, but not old buildings. So um, it was fantastic, fascinating, and hopefully we can win and stay long and do more tourism if we can. So uh, yeah, yeah, we, we had just one, one morning and it was very nice. Okay, now thank you. We conclude the press conference. Thank you. <laughs>